and uh, Graham in Mount Hevelin. Morning to you, Graham. How are you, John? Welcome. Uh, John, it's very interesting to hear your comments on your experience with the chiropractors earlier today because yes. it explains why you have such a... Oh, I'm going to express it this way, you have such a closed mind on the issue. Yes. And I think it really deserves a little bit more time on your part to look at the facts. Um, just because I went to a physio recently with an injured ankle and it got worse and worse under the physio's treatment and I went to a chiropractor, a particular one, who's trained in dealing with limbs and, and joints and so forth, and he felt the ankle and said, that bone shouldn't be there. He checked his charts and I walked out of that. Walked out in perfectly. Now, should I slate all physiotherapies on one experience? One physiotherapist, one experience. I have a daughter who was cured many years ago of autism. Now, we don't have the time to go into all the details. If you wanted to contact me off air, I'll give you all the details. Another child, or her and another child, cured of colic. They are the two complaints that the minister says cannot be. All I'm going to say is with cancer, some cancers can be cured, some can't. Graham, some doctors know how to do it, Graham, some do, don't. Do, do, you, do you trust scientists? Do you think they know anything at all? I have a daughter who's a medical scientist. Okay, so do you accept that things like double-blind tests and scientific evidence is actually evidence? In yes, which case... But, but some things cannot be tested that way. How many times have doctors said, oops, we're giving you the wrong medication, the medication's been proved, we're giving you the wrong medication, we've got to try something else. Some things you've got to look at people's experience. But I have a daughter who has not spoken for weeks and my wife is there and the chiropractor says, I'm going to have a look at your daughter before she leaves the room. And she's speaking as she leaves the room, hasn't spoken in weeks, and her behaviour becomes normalised as of that point. Are you going to say that it does not stand up to scientific evidence? I don't know the facts and circumstances of your case. Of course I don't and you do. But when it comes to assessing the validity of unproven medical techniques, I'm very happy to trust the people who have done the research and to listen to their advice. Susan in Elwood. Morning, Susan. Good morning. I was just curious about, um, uh, this is relating to the Trump campaign, 